G'day, it's uh, Douglas here from Skybiz, and uh, we're uh, going to try a little project here today. We've uh, got the uh, brand new uh, DJI Inspire 2 camera, which is a phenomenal camera uh, with its uh, exceptionally uh, efficient uh, X5S uh, camera. Uh, and we wanted to really use it perhaps a little bit more than just for aerial photography. Now, uh, had we have had the old gimbal, I think the X5 uh, or the X5R, we could have uh, attached that to an Osmo. However, uh, at this point in time, and I've not seen anything to say any different, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to use the X5S gimbal on an Osmo, uh, but we would like to use the camera indoors. So uh, here's our wonderful Inspire 2, as you can see there. And it's quite a beast. And we want to make up some kind of attachment that we can fit to a tripod uh, and actually remove the propellers, bring the unit inside and get that uh, organised as an in indoor camera. The Inspire 2 has a little feature on here which is really cool and this allows you for testing purposes only to be able to raise the legs permanently or uh, as long as you want without the uh, sensors picking it up and automatically dropping it down. But this is what we want to disable. Disable the landing gear, auto uh, lock, and uh, we just make sure that that's on. We can go to the unit, press it on here, and it raises the wings up do so we're going to show you how to make up a, uh, a, uh, a bracket which you can attach to a tripod and basically have the whole unit on a tripod like that so you can take it indoors and use that for filming and I think that's just going to be spectacular so we have some tools here uh, that we think that we're going to need uh, which is a rivet gun uh, although you can use a hand riveter if you don't have that you may be able to get away with just uh, some screws and uh, some bolts, but we've got a rivet gun. We've got a little uh, black strap there that we're going to attach the uh, uh, Inspire 2 to the clamp. There's our actual clamp here. Now this clamp is basically from a builder's hardware. It's 100 millimeters wide here, 100 millimeters wide. And uh, it's basically what you use for holding up posts. All right, so we have that. We have our drill. We have some uh, quick release fasteners there, uh, uh, nuts and bolts. Okay, so we have a 3 8 of an inch 16 UNC uh, tap set and a corresponding 8.5mm drill. We have a quarter inch UNC 20 uh, and a corresponding 5.5mm drill. And then we just have a little pilot drill and we have here some uh, some rivets and then we have this little thing here which we're going to make up for uh, the Inspire to sit on in the bracket which will basically look a little bit like this when it's all finished all right so that will give you an idea so that's pretty much everything that we have here going to have the uh, copter sitting on this kind of bracket here all right and then that will be attached uh, to the uh, to the quick release on our tripod and we're going to attach all these bits here so that it fits nicely uh, and that will be our stand so here's the stand that we're going to use and you can see the uh, it's got some dimensions on there and we've got our little bracing plate in there. In the middle of this, we actually do have a uh, a little rivet there. So we're going to use that rivet. We're going to we're going to drill it out in a moment, but we're going to use that just to centre uh, here, so you can see. There it is. There. All right, and we're just going to mark where we're going to put some drill holes, rivet holes. So we're going to do there, there there and there that's kind of where we're going to drill the holes and then we've got that one in the middle so we're just going to drill those first all 
Okay, once you've got all your holes drilled and you are happy that you've marked up the uh, bracket to where you want it, it's time just to uh, either screw in, or in this case, we're going to just uh, use a rivet gun. That should make it permanent and strong. But if you don't have a, uh, a rivet gun, you can use nuts and bolts and a, uh, or screws if you need to. Now we want to mark where we want the quarter inch and the three eighth inch uh, hole uh, to be positioned so that we can just simply screw our uh, quick release plate from the video tripod straight into this bracket. So we think we're probably going to have one here and we'll have of course the other one here. And that's of course where we're going to drill our two uh, holes. Okay now once you have drilled your two holes to uh, screw your uh, uh, base plate into from the tripod we actually need to use this to make the thread. So that goes in there. I won't show you too much, but effectively we're gonna cut a thread and you can see how to do that on, on YouTube and other places. But we're gonna cut two threads, one here, one here. There's gonna be 3 8 of an inch. This one's gonna be quarter of an inch. As you can see from here, we've now cut our thread and that is gonna be perfect for the larger, three eighths of an inch thread that comes out of our video uh, base plate on our tripod. Okay, so the next step that we wanna put some kind of covering on there. So we've got some of this sticky back foam and we're basically just going to uh, pop that in there and stick it to the sides and cut back what we don't need. Uh, one good tip, make sure you've got a very, very, very sharp knife so that you get clean, immediate cuts all the way through. Okay, so now that we've put the foam in and stuck it all in, we had to use a little bit of super glue in a couple of areas. We've given it a uh, lick of paint. Uh, because it's galvanized, we did use a, uh, an etch primer as a prime coat and then just a little bit of satin finish that uh, sort of looks quite uh, quite reasonable there I think and that's what it all looks like here's a little strap that we'll just uh, put over the top and we bolted those through we actually tapped the casing there with a six mil bolt screwed that through locked tighted it all in and then we did the same on that side, but we just left the bolt open so that we could just uh, literally flip that over the top. Okay, so here we are with the uh, stand that we've made up. And as you can see, the, uh, the Inspire is really secure. It fits snugly inside there. We've used the strap to pull it over so it's not going to go anywhere. We've got this uh, elongated support here to hold the uh, Inspire there firmly in position. But remember I told you a little bit earlier about switching those legs up. Now, if you don't switch that button on like I told you, as soon as you put the legs up, the sensors will uh, detect and then it will drop the legs back down again as it thinks that it's going to land. You can just lift the legs up, the legs will lift out of the way and you have this amazing unimpeded uh, view uh, almost 180 degrees of the camera without anything in the way so it gives us the ability to really nicely and smoothly turn that camera for all those ground shots it's an amazing camera you know if you haven't got another uh, ground camera system this is all you're ever going to need use the different lenses on there you can zoom in and out uh, you really don't need even to use an SLR with this. Uh, it's just a, an all-in-one camera with its 20 megapixels and it's uh, amazing, amazing, up to 5.2K. 
footage. But you can see, it works really well. We're excited. We're going to be using this on all our film shoots now. Uh, so hopefully that was of some use to you. Uh, now, just one little thing. This was a quick throw together video. Uh, it wasn't a, uh, a, a well thought out video in as much that we just put it together quickly. We wanted to get the bracket up. I didn't want to spend a lot of time setting up a whole video shoot. So uh, please, no comments on how bad the video looks and comes together, but just take what I've given you from it, which is how to make up a fantastic stand. And if we can just get that organized, we're all having a good day. All right, no worries. Over and out. See you soon.